All right, guys. Today we we are going to be reacting to how wind turbines are overhauled, made in Germany. Huh? We're gonna react to a little bit of more uh, of that German culture of building stuff. The engineer, the German in the engineer. That's why a lot of people say, "Yeah, German engineer, German engineer." But because there's something to it, there's clearly something to it. So we're gonna be reacting to this, but in this time with the renewable energies. Okay. We reacted to a couple of videos regarding solar. I would love to know if Germany builds their own solar panel or their. We have to see. We have to see. Uh, that's something. That's something I would like to just get into it later on. Make sure you like to subscribe or support donation, super chats, or links in the description. If you wanna just, you know, recommend those more videos, go to the links for the description on our Discord. Let's jump in. Model number CPN HZ197. What the hell is that? Wind turbine transmission. What the hell, man? That's not a real engine for a turbine. Fifteen tons of steel now lie in the shop, but something's wrong. Huh? Okay. Technicians were unable to pinpoint the problem on site, let alone repair it. The wind and weather have taken their toll. Things stopped running smoothly about eight weeks ago. Much like the drive belt in a car, you often don't see or hear anything until it breaks down. Oh. But if repairs aren't made in time, the whole transmission might need replacing. Sensors within the turbine housing had been transmitting signals of abrasion. It's time to act. But technicians need to take a closer look to find out what's wrong. Manufacturers say their transmissions have a service life of seven to ten years. This one rang for nine. Hmm. Troubleshooting and repair are complicated. They can take days or even weeks. Yeah, man. A hydraulic wrench is needed to remove rusty nuts and bolts. But you have to be some kind of individual to just handle this kind of complexity and this is very weird this is another it's not like a car right like everybody used a car you need to specialize on this kind of stuff which might pay you a lot of money too well he's clicking buttons uh, what the hell the hand up, you can do it by hand but it would take a ton of effort first you'd heat it red hot with a torch then put a four or five meter long pipe on a wrench to get enough leverage to loosen it. An hour later, they still don't know if it's worth making the repairs. They have to keep going. Everything must be recorded so that the customer can monitor the work later. Wow, even the customer has to be involved in this one. So important. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The Listen to this, folks. The customer need to be involved on the repayment. In the repairment. <laughs> wow, I never heard this before. The customer need to be involved in the repairment. That's new for me. Fun that is new for me. Pays the bill, no uh, it's not a house, it's just a weird technology that you have to just now learn. Judging from the oily deposits, the technician uh. makes a prognosis. I think it's coming from the spur pinion, from the gearbox. Meanwhile, the first hundred photographs are being uploaded. So, how much does a repair like this cost? As a reference point, you can estimate that on average, work like this costs about two-thirds of the price of a new one. And how much is that? Depending on the transmission class, new would run between 100,000 and 200,000. Nah. Nah, man. Nah, F that, bro. Just, just put it down and just build another one, man. Nah. 100,000 to 200,000, no. Just put it down and build another one, man. Almost, almost a quarter of a million. Wow, man. Thousand euros. 
Golly. Put in perspective, that means the repair costs could range between 70,000 and 140,000 euros. The planetary transmission is exposed. Repair is looking like a reasonable proposition. But they'll only know for sure once the clamping ring is down. About 5,500 wind turbines have been repaired in Germany as of June 2013. Damn. By noontime, they're down to the sun pinion. The rows of teeth are pitted, so this part is ready for the scrap heap. Replacement isn't a problem. This company makes their own. Has to be nice and new. Find more damage. Oh my god. <sighs> they can see that the anti-friction bearings are shot even before they open them up. Oh. How in the hell that thing just messed up, man? This is the heart of the transmission and the part that's subject to the greatest stress. Like the bearings design dates back at least a decade. You know it's crazy, man. You have to give it to the you have to really give it to them, man. This kind of work is just somehow you have to love it. Uh, I remember when I was a teenager, I used to see my father, my uncles just walk on the car, mechanics. You know, they're not mechanics, but they they know the basics, right? And they used to work in the car for days. I remember days, 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 days. And they hated it. They just hated it. And then I see this and I'm like, wow. I ask my question. Do they love it? But this is this is a different monster. Turbine builders have learned a lot since then. Many of the 400 other parts are still as good as new. Probably, we don't know. The gives management a status report. They're the ones who'll have to explain it all to the customer later on. The engineer says they won't be able to put the ring gear back in. Well, at least the transmission housing was intact. Three okay. weeks later, about half of the parts have been replaced, overhauled, or recast. When it's finally reassembled, the transmission is placed on a test stand where it must run much more quietly than before. Let's see. Hmm. Germans are far more sensitive to wind turbine noise than they used to be. But it's all paid off. This CPN HZ197 can go back in service, fit once more for Germany's shift to renewable energy. Oh, this what and this was a dream that golden era, right? Of renewable energy let me see 10 years ago that was in 2014 okay great video it provides an awesome look inside a, a massive wind turbine transmission yeah i agree great job it is did it for about nine months uh, top experience yep yep and thank you for sharing good job i'm interested in how they get they get those things out of the turbine good question good question Good question, my goodness. Good stuff. In the meantime, on the consumer side, if a repair costs uh, two thirds of the cost of a new anything, wash, laptop, car, etc., is is to the trash in time for our new one. So if these are repaired twice, it serves to the lost money. Yeah. Isn't that what I said? Isn't that what I said? I said, you know what? With that amount of money, with that amount of money, just buy a new one. Just buy a new one, man, because you're just wasting a lot of money. Five thousand dollar wind turbines, amazing. That's a baby. Only a uh, thousand six hundred sixty kilowatts year box. I have worked on some wind turbines that are six megaton kilowatt megawatts. I think that's what it means. Oil analysis should have caught this issue before that much damage. Ooh. Let me see what they say. That will that would be up to the owner, I guess. Expensive lesson for them. But the but the fix will likely be the same. A UOA would only show steel or yellow metal in the oil. That is a big planetary holy. Yeah, man, I'm telling you this. No energy system can produce some useful energy in excess of the total energy 
put into constructing it. This universal truth applies to all energy system. Energy like time flows from past to future. Okay, bro. Okay, new to Okay, bro. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We got it, man. We got it. All right. Interesting, right? Shout out to those guys that just do that with hard work. It's not easy, man. It's not easy, but you have to give them props. What they do, clearly they love it. And, you know, they pay, pay very well. But I'm glad that, you know, this was 14 years, uh, 10 years ago. So it will be nice to see what, you know, new invention and new technology has been incorporated to the wind turbines. Just to, you know, avoid these kind of repairs. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one.